Dusseldorf Caravan Salon, the 31st of August 2017. This is a Clever van. Clever is the name of the brand. It's called a Tour 540 Slide. Now these things start at around 35,000 euros, but this has got a bit of kit on, which is gonna take the price up a bit. Let's go and have a look at it. You see it's on a Citroen base. So it's this normally a cheaper brand, shall we say. I, I realize that 35,000 euros is a lot of cash. But uh, now, you saw how long it was, perhaps you got the idea, but this is much larger inside than it is outside. So it's a bit of a TARDIS, really. Now let's have a look at some of the features. You've got a small table there, but you can increase it to make it 30% bigger. You've got a kitchen over here with an extension. And in the kitchen, we have two burners and a sink. We have space under the, uh, the kitchen, including a smallish fridge. Quite sensible in my opinion, as I'm sure you would agree, or at least agree that I would say such a thing. Got a shower with a curtain. You know, I was thinking of doing something like this in my own van, to just to put, a, you know, just take the door off. I took the door off and I was going to put a curtain up, but then we decided that, well, we'll just tear the van to bits anyway and do something really odd. So I never actually got round to just putting the curtain. In fact, I never bought the curtain. In here, I think this isn't, isn't a bad idea. So I know that nobody's going to like it, but I think that's a pretty good idea. We've got a sink, it's got a domestic plug, and the shower does have a plug as well. It's it's also a domestic one. It's down there. Right. Well, the toilet, of course, uh, pops, perhaps would have been better if it slid in and out of the uh, under the, the chair there. But I suppose that would have added so much cost to it that they decided not to bother. You've got a window there in the shower. Incidentally, what do you think of the shower? Because I'm going to better get some opinions on this one here. There's no wall. There's just a curtain. Because I think that's a brilliant idea for saving space in a small van. I mean, you wouldn't expect it in a sort of a eight metre long uh, liner or something. But in a van of this nature, I think that's not a bad idea at all. Okay, well, think about that one. I might be thinking, let's have that down here. So you wouldn't be sliding anything in and out of the chair, under the chair, because that is the boiler. And you've got down there, in fact, the, the blue thing down there is so the release for the water when you want to drain everything off. Now, this is the clever bit. So, what's that down there? It is a slide out. The back part slides out to make a bed. It makes an enormous bed at like that. Look how big it is. So if you're particularly tall, you don't fit in width-wise, then you might want something like this. Now, I don't know what the cost is. I don't even know if this is mass-produced. I don't know if this is maybe the only version they've got. But if enough people show an interest in it, then they will do it. Now, as things stand at present, a slide-out would add one-third to the cost. So it would be one-third of the cost. So that would put around 35,000 starting price. You'd expect the slide-out of 17, 18, maybe even more, thousand euros onto the cost. These things are not cheap, but I think the prices are actually coming down. So it may be possible to get vans with slide outs uh, before long. Now this is a particularly big slide out, because often a slide out will only add maybe uh, one, a square meter or something like that. But as you can see there, that there is two square meters. So it's really effectively, it's about double this, the size of a a conventional slide up, the sort of things we can see in other vans here in Europe. Of course, you can't get these enormous slide outs in these uh, uh, liners, like 12 meters long, and uh, the slide out itself is 4 meters long, something like that. I mean, that's possible, but uh, you don't really see it here in Europe. You do see it in stuff manufactured in the United States, though. So, I'll sit back here in my favorite seat and admire the view. You can see how big the van is. Okay, you've got a bit of space down there on the floor as well, so you can uh, uh, perhaps get something in under there. 
Okay, let's have a look at the slider. From the outside. Oh, this one here is 37,000 euros. It's called a rumor. Now, uh, let's have a look in here, in this way. So, having a look through the window, you can see the van from the back. But you want to see the slide out? So there you go. The thing about slide outs is they really make it much easier to park, to move. There's a fear, there's two fears that I can think of. The first fear is that uh, there'll be water ingress. Well, I know, for example, uh, the, the main company manufacturing these things is uh, taking a lot of care to avoid that. But I've heard of these stories in the United States. And the second fear is one which I think we all have, that you get the slide out, out and you can't get it back in again. There is a way of doing it. I had it explained to me, you've got to remove a screw, which is a holds it into position and then somehow you can push it back in again. I can't demonstrate it because I don't want to start messing with somebody else's van. We'll see if we can get a demonstration of how to do that before we leave. So that would be a useful thing to say. I said before we leave, not before I leave. As I say, I'm not using the royal we because you're not here in any case. So you won't be leaving. Do you think that's a clever van? or a clever, clever van. Put your opinions down below.